Hello Indie Game Fan, amid the hustle and bustle of Game of the Year coverage, some indie games from December were overlooked, so the best hidden gems begins with Legend of Kendor, a top-down pixel art action roguelite that is awesome, being of note since there is no meta progression unlike other modern roguelites, which may be a hit or miss, but does have a little bit of a nuclear throne feel. I also want to shout out Gunlocked since this Bullet Heaven shoot'em up did also release out of early access and is one of the better games in this subgenre. 2022 was of course filled with Vampire Survivors clones, but this takes the form of a vertical shoot'em up, being a weird twist of fate, since Bullet Heavens took inspiration from Bullet Hells, which themselves are a subset of the shoot'em up, where this has all your favourite elements from those games such as swarms of enemies and overpowered weapon combinations. Tujas probably made the critical error of releasing in December since I think this game deserves more attention being a wonderfully made 3D puzzle platformer that is just cute out the wazoo. You play as this Roomba looking thing as you go about the land, exploring and stacking living blocks all in a bit to save the galaxy from the void. Don't worry, it's not as dire as it sounds, with this in general having good vibes all around, being very cute and cleverly designed, so give it a go if you have not. The original Undead Horde from 2019 was a decent little necromancer simulator, being an action strategy title where you led the armies of the dead to go forth and conquer, where its sequel, Undead Horde 2, Necropolis is not too bad either, but seems to have gotten lost in the shuffle as well. I love playing as necromancers in games, which of course stems back to Diablo 2, where the almost Pikmin and Warcraft 3 inspired gameplay here is awesome, as you're able to command legions of the undead. There is a meta progression system that allows you to rebuild your necropolis and get progressively stronger and thus come to us from developer 10 Tons Limited, whom I love as well since their titles like Tesla vs Lovecraft and even Crimson Land back in the day are fun action titles, making this one of interest, but do note that it is in early access so maybe keep an eye on this for now. For a different kind of undead, Necro Bouncer is an action roguelite where you play as a necromancer who is also a bouncer at a nightclub having to raise the dead to help you ban unruly customers. It's not the most groundbreaking in terms of minute to minute gameplay, nor does it have an eye poppingly gorgeous visual style, but it is still a well made smaller title that will add some variety to your roguelite rotation. Like I mentioned in my video on hidden gems of the year, adventure and puzzle games do unfortunately end up in videos covering hidden gems since they don't seem to have that same kind of mass appeal, which is why videos like this exist to shout out games like Insomnia Theatre in the Head. 
This is a puzzle game where you're in the mind of a woman suffering from insomnia, having to help her dispel elves and sheep in order for her to get to sleep. I like the hand-drawn art here, where the puzzles are not that difficult and it's more about experiencing the surreal nature of the dream world, but at a low low price as well, this is definitely worth picking up. You can feel the stress leaving your body simply by booting up Garden Galaxy since this is a sandbox gardening title that is just so chill and relaxing. The combination of the soft music and wonderful art style is already pleasant and add to that the randomness of loot and even idle game elements and you have a winner. You are pulling randomly chosen decorations and items from the pot and arranging them however you see fit in a zen garden kind of way where visitors will come and give you coins so that you can unlock more items to add to the pool, simply having good vibes all around. Welcome to Cygnus Enterprises, Contractor. We are the galaxy's leading space exploration mega corporation. You have been tasked to restore our facilities on Mytilus to a productive and profitable state. Now, let's get to work. Let's move on to some more action-y titles with Cygnus Enterprises, an action-based builder title that most resembles Riftbreaker, where you need to restore derelict facilities back to a productive state. It has elements of base and factory building, but where you're also able to venture out into the wilderness to explore and battle wild creatures. Remember, the company is here to support you. Just in case things go wrong. Got it. Let's go. But enough about you. Let's talk about me. I'll make sure my staff pays their fair share to use your facilities. Opulence comes at a price after all. Any future visitors that stay at one of these doors will net you some well-deserved credits too. Time to test out the new upgrades. As with most games in this genre, the gameplay loop is compelling, we are exploring to get resources to upgrade, which allows you to unlock new stuff, which then allows you to explore further, already showing promise in early access and is another title to watch. If you are hearing this, and we failed, please finish what we started. One of the cosiest and more emotional titles of the month is Akka, a live sim exploration title where you play as a red panda who is trying to find some sort of peace on a tiny island haunted by the ghosts of his past caused by a great war. Our protagonist is trying to live a simple life here with plenty to explore and even some light farming and crafting elements but don't go expecting Stardew Valley with this title. Rather, it's on a smaller scale and a small freeform with plenty of other activities to do, where one caveat with this is that it was a little buggy and wonky at launch, but the developers have been hard at work fixing this, where it is already greatly improved and I think is worth a play. For as overdone as Vampire Survivors clones are at this point, I do still appreciate how compelling they can be, with the Norse mythology themed Nordic Ashes Survivors of Ragnarok being of interest, with fun combat and impressive progression, we can see more hidden gems of 2022 in this video.